This is Replicant Fish. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. Sundays. Simping Sundays. Yet on some days, on damn near every day, for some men, every day is a day to be a simp. You see, simping is, it's profitable. Not for you, not for the simp, no, but for those who get the attention of the simp. The thing is, some only assume a simp is a man. No, 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 no. We live in a time now where many women are simping for other women as well. It's not unique, it's not new, it's just more obvious now. I have an article here about a Twitch thought, I mean, sorry, a Twitch streamer, <laughs> have to get it right, who claims men that simp are toxic, which is somewhat hypocritical considering that I guarantee you a number of her subscribers are simping for her, thus they're subscribed to her on Twitch. But then again, sometimes it's difficult to see what's right in front of you. But simping is becoming more trendy. Even on apps like TikTok, people are just using the word to, I don't even know, it's just, yeah. Simping's not good, but let's begin. From Dexerto.com or Deserto.com, Sweet Anita explains why dating simps can be toxic. <laughs> There is so much nonsense there, but let's just begin. By Virginia Glaze. I almost said something else there, but let's, let's carry on. <laughs> oh my god. Sweet Anita is a popular Twitch streamer best known for her supportive community and acute Tourette syndrome who used her platform to share a grain of wisdom about so-called simps in the online world, of which there are many. Thanks to her unexpected verbal tics and hilarious sense of humour, Anita has garnered an audience of over 700,000 followers on Twitch. Let's be honest here, it's not just her personality, come on. We're going to play that coy game, yeah, it's just her personality, yeah, okay. Using her broadcasts to educate viewers about her condition as well as the interesting characters she's encountered during her time as a top streamer. I almost said stripper, but my bad. In a YouTube video uploaded on March 26th, Anita admitted she dated some simps in her past, which she described as socially awkward people who are desperate for romantic attention and obsessed with the object of their affections. Yet somehow, she assumes she has no simp followers. Really? <laughs> They're the kind of person who sells all their stuff so they can donate thousands of pounds to their favourite e-girl and then they live off noodles for the rest of the month, she jokingly explained. Exactly, she jokingly explained. Men don't understand they're a joke to these women. They find them hilarious because they know they just have to show themselves and talk about whatever and men would sell their souls almost to give them money, to give them more attention and, and some of these men are sad enough to believe they will get something back from doing all of this. You will get nothing, absolutely nothing, from being a simp. Now yes, of course, in real life, some simps could break a woman down over time, then she just gives in, but, but that's not exactly endearing. This woman would still see you as a fool. Just because she sleeps with you does not mean she does not see you as a fool. I'm sure many husbands have made that mistake. Let's carry on. However, she clarified that getting involved with these types, in spite of their constant gifts and compliments, can be toxic as evidenced by a few stories she told from her own experiences with simps. In one story, she revealed how her male roommate would go above and beyond to do small favours for her, which later caused him to throw temper tantrums when she didn't return his affections, despite Anita asking him to stop cooking. <laughs> oh man. To stop cooking her food and buying her chocolates. You see, the thing is, she's making many good points. The problem is, the way she thinks and sees men and simps, men that would simp for her, is how a lot of women see it. The difference is, they don't say it. Why do they not say it? They don't say it because they can't afford to spoil their future options. In other words, a woman that knows you're a simp, she knows you're a cleanup man, you're a fallback guy, you're the man she will settle down with after she's done sleeping with whomever she wants to sleep with. You're the safe guy. The simp will always be there. The simp will always do the most to get her attention and keep it. The point is, many men are so programmed to do this because they think this is what women want. Most women don't stop them and tell them, stop bro, 
stop you being a simp. No, of course they wouldn't do that. They get attention from simps. Women know for a fact they can't afford to call out simps too much and tell men you're simping because they know if they do that too often, it will affect their possible money and future prospects of finding a man to claim them after they've had their fun with many other men. You see, understand, women manipulate by nature. By nature, they want you to see them as innocent. That's why if you notice, women that aren't garden tools, you don't see them speak up too much about women that are garden tools. To understand that is to understand the hive mentality and the just in case mentality, the hypergamous mentality to jump ship to move on to something else if they need to. So in other words, many women would say they would never sell themselves as such. But the thing is, you have to wonder if deep, deep, deep down, they may think if it comes to it, yes, they would do it. Thus, why shame those women that do so? No, they would not do it themselves. No, not right now. They are not that desperate. But as we have seen, when the desperation is there, how women react so quickly. Only fans and other services as such. Yeah. You see, my question to you is, is this, how many women do you think are garden tools or have that nature to be so? Now, one can say it's not all women, but the thing is, again, the hive mentality of women. How, if you notice, women will co-sign other women's nonsense. And also in this, you notice how women simp for other women. Because yes, women do simp for other women. We do live in a very free and liberated time. It's not just men that are simping for women at ridiculous levels. No, it's women as well. Even if the woman is not, let's say, let's say a lesbian, even if she's straight, we do notice how women co-sign other women's nonsense. How we see them sell delusion to each other. They will tell women, you look good, you look nice, that dress looks good on you. When many men would tell her, my God, you look awful. Whereas a simp, on the other hand, would lie the same, tell her she looks good. Now, some would say, what do simps get in return for doing everything that they do? What do they get in return? What they get is validation, acknowledgement. What they get is to feel good for what they have done for someone else, in hopes this person would see them in a different or better light. The sad thing about simps is how they get off on doing things for women they fawn over in the hopes she will appreciate the good things he has done for her. And the sad aspect is, many women would keep these men around because they know these men are a resource. They know they can't sell their crap to men like me. It doesn't work. I laugh <laughs> and carry on. But there are so many men out there in need of female validation. They need to be acknowledged by a woman to be seen, spoken to, and feel as if they're being admired in return, like they admire this woman. But the truth is, she has no respect for you at all. None. She knows you're a tool, something just to be used. Whereas, whereas on the other hand, some men would see her as such. They would see her as a garden tool, because to some men, they would just bust and move on her. Then you have other guys over here fawning over the same woman that men over here are doing in all manner of dirty and freaky ways. Simps get crumbs. Simps get leftovers. Simps are the cleanup men. Women need simps. Regardless of what they say, they need a simp to fall back on. The simps are the fall guys. The simps are the safe guys that will come running to the rescue because the men she really wants, she knows they would just laugh <laughs> and save themselves. They would laugh and save themselves. But then again, we do need simps. There has to be a balance. The thing is, I'm glad I'm not on that side <laughs> of the flipping balance. In other words, in other flipping words, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.